I'm John with Team Book Yushu. Today I'm going to be showing you some bow staff form up drills. First you're going to take the bow staff and hold it upside down. Then you're going to twist back and forth. Now when you go back this way, you're going to throw it to the other hand. Go down, up. Down, and then up. This will help with your throwing, like throwing like this. And it will also help with your speed. Next one we're going to be doing is butterfly circles. You're going to start with circles, then you're going to go behind the back, in front, behind the back, in front. I like to think of this is for normal circles you go cross under and then uncross to over. Basically, you're going cross under and then over behind your back. Now I'm going to show you how I use butterfly circles in my form. Now I'm going to show you a good transitional drill. You want to start with rows. You're going to go behind your back, and you're going to do more rows with your other hand. But when you do it, you're only going to do one row each side. Like this. You can use this in your form to transition from a strike to another strike. Like this. I'm John with Team Buka Yushu, and those are some good warm up drills. Hello, my name is John with Team Buka Yushu. Today I'll be showing you the wrist wrap and or hand roll. So what you want to do is you want to hold the staff at the end of the grip. Then you want to tilt your hand so that it rolls on the back of your hand and then grab it. Try not to tilt your hand any other way when the, when the bow staff is on the back of your hand because then it will fall. There are many ways to use the wrist wrap or hand roll. One is to use it while you're rowing, like I'm doing right now. Another way is to do it right before you're about to throw the staff, like that. These are some of the ways I use it in my form. First, I use, I use it to go into some of my ones, twos, maybe two and a halves. Another way I use it is right before I'm about to go into a neck rock, I'll go over the head into the neck wrap. Hi, I'm John Blaine with Team Buki Yushu. Today I'm going to be showing you a cross shoulder wrap. To this trick, you want to hold it near the middle of the end. You need to start it off kind of like a swipe, like you would do into a strike combo. But instead of going into a strike combo, you're going to keep going with it across your shoulder, under this arm. The arm that catches it should go near your neck, and then the arm that's throwing it over goes under that arm that's catching it. I use this trick a lot after I do strike sequences into other straight combos, into other swipes. You can, go, you can do it directly into a swipe if you really wanted to. There's lots of things this can be used for. I use it mainly for trick combos and after strike sequences. Now I'm going to show you how I use it in my form. Hello, I'm John with Team Book Yushu, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a one. A one is where you take the bow staff, you throw it, spin around, and catch it like this. To start with a one, try practicing throwing it up like this first. You're going to start with your wrist wrap and catch it 
so that the bottom of your hand is facing up. This will give you more momentum when you throw it to spin. If you practice that a couple times, so just throwing it up and catching it. Once you have the throw down, you need to learn how to spin. For this, you don't really need the bow staff, but if you want to use it, you can place it here and then spin. To spin, you want to push off with your front foot and you want to spin on your back foot, like this. Mm -hmm. Next, you want to practice catching it. So put the staff here, spin it up, and catch it. Make sure your front foot starts and stops in the same spot. I would use a piece of tape to mark where you want to start and where you want to stop. Now you want to combine the throw with the spin. Make sure when you throw it, you catch under, like this. A lot of people try to catch over and end up slapping it in the ground. Now I'm going to show you how you can use it in a form. If you're still not getting it down, I recommend practicing it with a pencil. This will help you because if you can catch a pencil, you can most likely catch a bow staff. I'm John with Team Buki Yushu, and that was the one. If you have anything that you want to learn, please write it in the comments and I'll do my best to explain it and break it down. Hi, I'm John Bidding with Team Buki Yushu, and today I'm going to be showing you a flashy sequence that you can put in your form. First what you want to do is you want to bring the bow set behind your back if you're doing butterfly circles. Then you want to bring it over your head, like you're also doing butterfly circles, but behind your head. Then you want to bring it back around, behind the back again. And then this part you want to bring it under your arm, over-rotating it an extra turn, instead of just going like this, because that's a little awkward to come off of. So you want to make it an extra turn, into a row, behind the back again. Even if you just put the first two sequences together, you'll still have a flashy sequence that you can use. Now if you put all four sequences together, it should look like this. Now I'll show you how I use it in the form. I'm John with Team Buki Yushu, and that was Flash Your Sequence. I'm John Bidding with Team Buki Yushu, and this is the elevator. For the elevator, you need to practice throwing it from behind your back and catching it. You also need to practice throwing it regularly and catching it behind your head. For the elevator, after you catch it behind your head, you need to spin it on your hand. You should practice throwing it, catching it, and then instantly spinning it. You should also know how to do a simple one. You can practice this by going up, just catching it, and then move on to just simply throwing it and catching it. Once you have this down, you need to practice twisting your wrist up and then throw it. Make sure when you practice catching it, you try to catch it behind your head. Because that's where you're going to be catching it once you put the one in there. So now, if you just simply add a one in there, and put all the moves together, you can do the elevator. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like in a form. I'm John with Team Buki Yushu, and that was the elevator. Hi, I'm John Bang with Team Buki Yushu, and today I'm going to be showing you the Gravitron. First you want to do rows while you're doing a wrist strap, and then once you do the wrist strap on this side, instead of going back over, you're going to throw it down, and you're going to catch it behind your back with your other hand. So 
So once you catch a finger on your back, you want to make sure you catch it near the end of the middle. Like if there was a grip on this bow staff, it'd be at the edge of the grip. Then you want to bring it out like this, and you want to use the momentum to throw it up. You can practice this move by holding it around here, putting it behind your back, throwing it up, and catching it behind your head. Now all you have to do is put the two together, and you should have it looking like this. If you want to add a little bit more to this trick, you can look straight ahead and not really worry about the bow staff and where it is. Now I'm going to show you how I use it in my form. As you can see, I combined the Gravitron with an under the leg, under the leg catch. I'm John Binning with Team Bukiyushu, and that was Gravitron. Hi, I'm John Binning with Team Bukiyushu, and today I'm going to be showing you the circus pop. So for this move, you want to hold it near three-fourths of the bow staff. Then you want to bring it behind your back, like you just caught a hand. Then you want to throw it up your shoulder. Make sure it like stays on your body, because if it goes out, you're going to lose control and you won't be able to hit it up. So once you get it on your shoulder, practice getting it to send out. Sometimes it might go like that, or it will go... It won't even make it up. So you want to make sure it stays level, like that. Then once you get that, you want to bring your hand up and hit it. You can either bring it like this or like this. I use it like this because it's your hand and you have more control of where it goes. After that, you can catch it like however you want pretty much. When you hit the bow set, the further near the middle you can hit it will make it flip more. And then near the end will make it flip less but more controlled. You don't want to hit it in the middle though because then it won't flip at all. Now I'm going to show you some different ways you can catch the circus pop and some different tricks you can do off of it. As you can see, there's all different ways you can catch it. You can catch it behind your head, you can catch it behind your back, you can catch it under your leg, you can do many different catches off the circus pot. You can do it with one. Now I'm going to show you how I use it in my form. I'm John Bidding with Team Bukiyushu. That was the circus pot. If you like this tutorial and you want to see more videos, like the video, subscribe, and go watch more of my videos. If you have any tricks you want to see, just put them in the comments. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below.